Hello everyone, Mike the Maniac here, and welcome to episode 2 of my game development series. I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna kind of explain why this video has taken so long to make. Um, number one, I was developing the game after the first video came out. I just kind of had some burnout um, at school. I just finished third quarter, and third quarter is kind of rough usually. It's usually when teachers just lay on the homework, lay on the projects. It's not fun. But I'm, I'm out of third quarter. I'm in fourth quarter and I'll be done by the end of May with school. So um, that, that's, that's one part of it. I didn't have internet for a week. We got it fixed. Then we switched to a new provider because we were just done with the old provider. Um, I also upgraded HitFilm. My version of HitFilm, I upgraded to HitFilm 12 because it like works more with your graphics card apparently, something like that, and it makes video editing a lot smoother. Since I upgraded HitFilm, my Logitech software for my webcam, for some reason the videos it were it, it was recording, um, it saved them as MP4s, but for some reason HitFilm 12 would not accept those and um, I'd have to upload them to YouTube, then download them, uh, and then download them in 720p to get it to work. So I switched to OBS. OBS seems to work with HitFilm. So that's just kind of why this video has taken so long. But now I am back to the grind of game development, and I am super stoked. I can't wait because when this video is over, I think I'm just gonna kind of fly away with game development. Anyways, in the last video, I think I mentioned that I would go into more detail about what this game will be about, so I think I'm gonna do that before we officially start what I've been adding throughout the month of February. So this game is gonna kinda be like a dungeon crawler. It'll probably have maybe 20 or more levels. Uh, that's not really flushed out yet. Um, there'll probably be a boss, may maybe not in every level but maybe every two or five levels I don't know how many levels I'm gonna make it'll probably be somewhere around the 20s maybe even more it just depends uh, basically though the game will follow like a Cyclops like character uh, you saw him in the in the last episode and you'll see him again this episode because he's the main character of the game in fact I think he's the only character uh, as this character, you will be fighting off uh, enemies, and I think this was the original plan, but I don't know much about it now. I think it may focus on using bombs, but like I said, I, I don't really know, so that's not a really concrete idea. But let's get into what you've been waiting for. What is my progress on this game? I did make a camera system, um, this was around early February, and obviously the, the camera system I made, it also allowed for full screen, but it wasn't really great. It probably wasn't the recommended way to make a camera system in Game Maker, but it did allow for full screen, which I think is kind of nice, and I do refine it later in this video. But this, the new system does not have full screen implemented yet, so. The full screen wasn't truly full screen, it was a borderless window, and then you'd still see like the little Windows taskbar. I got tile maps and tiles working in Game Maker. Um, pretty excited to do this because, you know, you kind of need these for, for a game. And um, it's going to allow me to create dungeons. I also refined the movement a bit from the system we had last episode. I also applied animations to that movement, and as you can see in this video, it kind of it kind of gets stuck on the walking right animation, but I did fix that, and now there's animations for walking forward, backwards, right, and left. Um, yeah, so animations are now applied to movement. There is a little problem with the movement system I've I've noticed. When you move diagonally, 
you tend to go a lot faster and I think it's because Game Maker is detecting you pressing two keys at once and it's like, oh, he's pressing this key, well, we'll, we'll, we'll add the movement at this speed, oh, and you're pressing that key, well, then we'll add the movement at that speed, so that's why diagonally, I think you go faster. I, I am going to have to refine that a little bit, but uh, right now, the movement system, I'm, I'm pretty confident with it. I did start on some sound design for the game um, for some of the enemies, but I don't really think I'm going to show them in this video. Uh, that's just kind of what I did. Um, I, I, I really don't think I'm going to show them in this video, but maybe next video, because I, uh, I plan to work on some enemies in, in, in that one. Uh, it is like February 27th, don't know if you can see that, but anyways, I have no internet, if, if you can see I'm on 4G and there's Wi-Fi networks available, no internet this week, and I bought the full version of Game Maker Studio 2, but I've just been busy with school and stuff, so I haven't really had time to edit on my game. And then I finally worked on refining the camera. Um, as you can see, it's still in the testing phases of refinement. So I refined the camera um, and then I allowed the camera to follow the player and I think this system is way easier than the way I did the first system. It, it takes advantage of, I think they're called viewports. They're like a system and game maker. And, um, yeah, it, it's meant for making cameras, and I took advantage of those. I did it in the first system. I don't know how the first system worked without even knowing about them, but, um, this new system takes advantage of them, and it's pretty nice. Right here, you'll see a little test of the explosion animation. Um, I think it's, I think it's good. I don't know. I kind of want your feedback on it. But I, I think it looks pretty good. And with that, I would like to announce this game is officially in alpha. I don't know. I, I just don't know if there'll be like a, a beta. And um, I think when I release it, I think it'll be the finished product. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this whole adventure will go. Anyways, with that, this video is now over. Uh, sorry if it seemed a little short, um, there just wasn't a lot, like I said, there was a little, a little time gap, adjusting without internet and adjusting with, with the school and whatnot, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, see you in the next video, and bye bye Is 300 good enough? Oh my god, is 300 good enough for you? Just, just tell me.